Hello, everyone. We are finally back with some more Danganronpa 2. What I thought I would do here... We are... I've completed the game, and just like the first game, I thought I would look back on some of the, uh... And some of the new modes we missed. And it seems there's... I think there might be a little bit more. Light novel, Danganronpa Ayav. I know. An alternate storyline where Monokuma lost against Usami. And this one that I looked at... I looked at briefly... Prince the battles between Monami and the Mana Beasts that occurred behind the scenes. This mode unlocked after we completed the first chapter. I decided... I decided not to look at it. <laughs> I see what you did there, Monokuma. I decided not to look at it. I didn't know if it would contain spoilers for later chapters. But, uh... I guess we can take a look at it. This is. We got whatever the hell these things are. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We're, we're supposed to surround them with this. Played, um, it reminds me of um, Kicks, if you, if you remember that game from the Game Boy. There's the uh the mono beast apparently.
the hell? This thing is... What was I supposed to do there? Uh, then I gotta do it all over again. items I'm finding? They do anything, or do I have to actually clear the stage to...
Oh my god. Oh good. Oh. Okay, good. We do have some uh this Welcome to Dangan Island. And now I'm assuming that this is going to be like the um that sort of dating sim mode in uh in the first hey, game. Can you hear me? The mode where nobody has to die. Hey, Nagito. Are you okay? I don't know, are you? You seem pretty out of it. You were pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Yeah. I don't understand. Why am I here? That's right, I... Oh, are we still gonna... We still gonna go through the same, uh, prologue? I was supposed to be at Hope's Peak Academy, but all of a sudden I was at a tropical island for some reason. And afterward... That's it. I remember now. There were 15 other students. And then... A mysterious self-proclaimed rabbit mascot suddenly appeared. That's right, and I remember what that thing said. It said this was a school trip. Because my memories are fuzzy right now, it seems I don't remember my talent. And since I don't know what the heck's going on, I began collecting these things called Hope Fragments. And then... Can you hear me? Hey! Ha... Hajime! Hmm? Are you okay? You know who I am, right? Yeah, you're Nagito, right? I'm glad. I'm so relieved. I thought you forgot about me. Oh, we could we could never forget you, I'm Nagito. Me. You suddenly started staring into space, and no matter what I said, you wouldn't respond. Uh, sorry. What happened to the others? I see. Oh, that's right. We need to hurry. Um... A weird thing suddenly appeared on the monitor and told us to go to Jabberwock Park. Usami and the others are already there. I wonder what's going to happen this time. What's going on? A strange uneasiness filled us as we hurried over to Jabberwock Park. Yeah, this is where this is where Monokuma appears. Once we arrived, is we heard Usami scream echo throughout the area. Hi where are you? Where are you hiding? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Where, where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> hey, hey, bear shit. How's it going? Why, hello there. Thank you all for waiting. Long.
long time. No see, guys. Not long enough. I am Monokuma, that... There you are. Cheerio! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nani... Yeah, Usami is sick of your shit. She's not even gonna let you finish your monologuing. Ouch! Hey, you don't know what me till I'm finished! Ah! No questions asked! Ah! Stop! And now for the coup de grace! Usami final splash part! Love and justice always win in the end. Ah, I can't believe I lost to Asami. You're too noisy. Now that you've learned your lesson, don't ever interfere with the school trip again. Yeah. On. Okay. And so the black and white bear looking thing hobbled away. Oh god, oh god, there's that music. Such a goddamn earworm. Phew. The hell was that just now? Starting to get pumped up. But I hated that. I'll just watch it got me pumped up. <laughs> that was an epic performance. You're pretty good, Asami. <laughs> Despite my looks, I'm your teacher. I'm supposed to protect everyone after all. Let me ask. That stick looks like some sort of exquisite blade. You intend to kill us with that now? Huh? Could it be? Or perhaps you intend to make us all kill each other on this uninhabited island? Uh, no, that that was Monokuma's shtick. I see. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, fake Biakia. It's been a while. That might be necessary for our survival. After all, food and water might eventually run scarce here. Ooh. That's definitely not gonna happen! No problem! Though in some ways you'll need to survive here. Your lives aren't in any danger whatsoever. I see. Can you even call that survival? What? Are you stupid? Jeez, what are you guys talking about? There's no way killings are gonna happen. Awesome! She's right. We're on a school trip in a tropical island, right? We should just make the most of it. <laughs> as long as there's hope, I personally don't mind killing or being killed. Yeah, okay, you really need to tone down that crap, Nagato. What, what are you... Wait, no. It seems as long as we don't do anything strange, we're not in any danger. Right? Also, we can leave this island as soon as we finish gathering the hope fragments, right? Yeah. That's what I've been saying from the beginning! What? What? I didn't think you were serious about that! Come on. What is this school trip anyway? What are you trying to make us accomplish on this island? I shall explain. Alright, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Hey! While you all relax on this tropical paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with each other. That's the main rule of this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart-throbbing school trip? Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. Love, love! And so this lovey-dovey heart-throbbing school trip starts right now! What the hell does that even mean? There's no way I can believe such a foolish... Yahoo! Love, love! Huh? Alright! Now that's a sign, let's go swimming! Alright! I expected something like this would happen, so I took the liberty of wearing my swimsuit under my clothes. Oh my. Oh, oh what a coincidence! I did too! Okay! Oh, so did I. My loins are always ready to go. I'm sure they are, Teru Teru. Come on! Wait, you guys. Wait, you guys. Then it's a race to the ocean! <laughs> uh, please wait! Engines ready! Yahoo! Seriously? White sandy beach, crystal clear ocean. High school students enjoying themselves. This feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. I don't have to doubt this at all. And so the curtain or a school trip has been raised.
All right. Yes. Okay, the heart throbbing school trip is it, it was meant to be. So Mon Monokuma is defeated. And so we can do this as we were supposed to. And all become all become better friends with each other. If you if you recall in the in the original in the original game, we were we were all the we were apparently all the bad guys. But then we were put in this, in this simulation where we're supposed to become better friends with everybody, to try and uh, to try and overcome that. And so here we are. After we played to our hearts' content, we listened to Asami and returned to the park once again. I shall explain. I sh how everyone must spend your time on this long-awaited school trip. You serious? What the heck does that mean? We can't just spend time playing around? Hmm. So we're finally getting to the point. As I recall, you said we had to survive here. What does that mean? That's right! You have to survive! Everyone's goal is to collect all the hope fragments. So, from this point on, everyone on this island will cooperate and live together for 50 days. Crap! 50 days? That's a super long time! that long come on who cares about the length more importantly what do you mean by cooperate i mean the class goal huh oh we, we do we still have to craft stuff for you Got class, it? in order to make everyone get along even more i'll regularly ask you to work together to make things simply put you guys will work together to create the item i ask you for <clears throat> uh, i don't want any trouble if we can do it, if we can't do it, uh, are we gonna get punished? What? Don't be absurd, there's no penalty for failing to make the item. <laughs> In fact, if you achieve your goal, I'll give you something nice. Alrighty! Oh, are, are those the tickets like before? Alright, let's try making an item now. Now then, the first goal I need to make is... Ta-da! Right here. Flower pin. A flower pin? What's that? <laughs> it's a hairpin made from pretty flowers. It's very lovely. Love, love. Please make one. You... You say that, but what do we have to do? You are right. We do not have any sort of the materials. Got it? I, I've been watching Lukajin's LP of this game. I really love how her, um... How she tries to, uh... I, I like her Sonya, how she tries to make her sound like Starfire. You need to visit various areas of the island and gather the materials. But, but there's no need to worry, I've already gathered the materials you need for your first goal. Alrighty! Let's try a practice session first. <laughs> so, here you go! Oh, thank you. Please make a rope with this. Afterward... If you combine this with the rope, you'll be able to create a flower pin. Please bring it to me when you're finished. Try not to get distracted. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, so... Okay, Yay! that Okay, you did very well! I'll give you some tickets! Trip tickets, yeah. I'll carefully explain how they work later, so make sure you don't throw them away! 
How is it? You understand how to do it now? <laughs> uh, this is too easy. Since it's not too difficult, we might be able to do this. <laughs> nice work, everyone. Now then, please do your best to gather materials for next time. Hey! Even if you don't do it well at first, you'll get the hang of it with enough practice. However, please don't overwork yourselves. It's also important you rest if you get tired. Got it? Also, make sure you keep your rooms clean. If they get too dirty, you'll have to do something unpleasant. Yippee-ki-yay! The main goal of the school trip is to gather all the hope fragments before time runs out. Please don't forget that. Alrighty! Now then, here's your next class goal. The next goal is... The same thing! <laughs> This time, please make it by gathering materials. I'll check in five days to see if you're finished. Oh, uh, well then. Uh, okay. We got nothing this time, so, uh... Each person can in three activities each day. Good job, everyone! It? Now you have some free time. You can spend that time however you wish. But make sure you gather all the hope fragments within 50 days. That's everyone's goal, after all. I apologize for repeating myself so many times, so please try not to forget. Hey! Even if you think it's impossible, please don't give up. I'll make sure to do something so you can definitely accomplish it one day. <laughs> so don't worry, just talk to everyone a lot and gradually collect all the hope fragments, okay? Hey! Also, if you use one of the trip tickets I gave you earlier, you can go somewhere and play. You can shoot for a love-love outcome, but you also won't be able to gather hope fragments, be careful. <laughs> when you achieve the class goal, I'll give you those trip tickets, okay? Alrighty! Let's give it everything we got! I'm terribly sorry, but do you have a second? Who are you? As Asami explained just now, you can now spend your free time with whomever you like. However, as you gather hope fragments, you'll notice the scenes are exactly the same as the main game. So you might notice people talking about having to kill each other. I know it seems strange, but this is island mode after all. It's a bonus, an addition to the main story. So please keep that in mind and try not to judge us too harshly. Okay. Anyway, take your time exploring and enjoy. Thanks. Heck yeah, we... I don't know if we... We, we didn't we didn't really max ourselves out with anybody in the in the main game from what I remember um you know what let's 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 have a chat with uh with fake Biakia. very strange who in the world organized this farce? Even if I wanted to think about it, there aren't enough clues. Hm. All this thinking's making me hungry. Let's have a small meal. Come. I spent time with Biakia today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. Looks looks like Biakia let me know. Um Oh, we we didn't spend time on the mono mono machine. I hope uh we really don't have
Um, <laughs> oh, I, I, ga I gave the real Biaki a potato chips, and he scoffed at me at such a lowly present, but somehow I think this Biaki will appreciate it. Hmm. Interesting. You have quite a rare item there. Even a noble such as myself has never touched something like this. Potato chips? Really? Interested. I'll be keeping this. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Me? I don't really mind, but... There is something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I don't know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before. This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is. Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Hmm? Well, what's with that face? Nothing, I just thought I was gonna get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. Do you really think I get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you, weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but will grow even ra more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really... I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Then just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. Alright. Decided to return to my room for now. Yeah. Thanks. How is my... How is my report card looking? Yeah, as you can see, back in back in the main game, I spread myself out pretty good over everybody. So I didn't really max my relationship out with anyone.
like I said, th this music is such an earworm. I talk to now who should we spend time with terror terror we didn't give you we di you didn't get enough time buddy <laughs> are you interested in me uh, uh, not, not in that way. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. I could gobble you. Then, uh, don't, don't say that line while making that pose. Then how about we learn about each other first? If you'd like, we can get to know each other with our bodies. Why don't you come to my cottage? Um, um, I, you, you're seriously taking this the wrong way, buddy. I declined Taro Taro's offer with all my might, and we chatted over tea at the restaurant <laughs> instead. <laughs> oh boy. Looks like Taro Taro and I grew a little closer. Uh, what, what would he like? Uh, stuff like this might be a little too, uh... For somebody, for somebody like him... Are you seriously giving me that? <laughs> Man, you really understand me well, Hajime. I was wondering, do you specialize in a particular style of cooking? <laughs> what a ridiculous question. Why would you kill the possibilities of your ingredients by limiting yourself to a specialty? Well, if you say so, I don't know if it's right to say all cooking is creative. Understand? Chefs have the right to be called chefs because they create dishes. It'd be simple for a true chef to create something from nothing. I don't really understand, but he sure has amazing confidence. I sort of understand Terror Terror's uncommon passion toward his dishes. Anyway... I've been wondering this for a while. Don't you think dishes resemble that a lot? That? You know, that, it can only mean one thing. Juicy, succulent meats intertwined. The naughty sound of squishy and splashing, ringing each time. Oh, oh, do, oh my god, what are you? You horny bastard! At times it's gentle, at times it's forceful. You gotta rub it, you gotta tease it, you gotta just hammer it in. See? You understand, right? Could it be the thing he's talking about? <laughs> Pro wrestling! Yeah, I'm sure that's what he's thinking of. I guess it's unavoidable. At least I know now that your body's pure. 
Terror Terror is mumbling gibberish to himself. I should just let him be. It'd be too annoying to deal with him. <laughs> well, if you ever decide to cook, you should know some simple advice. They say there's a fine line between cooking and screwing. Who the hell ever said that?! <laughs> I don't really want to think about it, but don't tell me that's the reason you started cooking. I see, that sounds plausible. After all, both actions appeal to a human's instincts. Understand. But to be honest, it's much simpler than that. I was destined to be a chef the day I was born. Well, guess that's uh, about it. After all, my family's restaurant back home's a diner. <coughs> I mean, a fancy upscale restaurant. Yeah, we, we already saw a little glimpse into that. I see, so you decided to become a chef as you were helping out your family's business. Eh? Helping out? It weren't something that easy. Oh, is, is this supposed to be his... Is this supposed to be his accent slipping? Did you just use an accent? <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> the, the rise of family restaurants, constant attacks by cheap chain joints, bullying from a rival store, Grief-stricken mother, frightened young siblings who are born to different mothers. Stop that crisis! I ventured alone and competed in a cooking death match, hosted by the Shogun of Taste. <coughs> Just kidding! A dirty tale of hardship like that doesn't suit an attractive urbanite like me. You'd rather hear me talk about my splendid and gorgeous life as a first-rate chef, right? Right. Uh, I kind of want to know more about that cook-off. <laughs> well? I'm planning to try hard, until I get sleepy, that is. Jackie seems to be feeling pretty good. Um... How are we doing? Jack, he's fired up. You need to rest. That's why he didn't want to do- Oh, is Fuyu- Is Fuyu already, uh, uh, is he already passed out? Hey. Alright, how about a Buki?
tragically, I did not get to spend as much time with you as I would have liked. You look bored, Hajime. Wanna drink some tea with a buki? <laughs> I've successfully picked up a boy. Now that it's my treat, so go ahead, don't go back. I spent time today at the restaurant eating desserts and drinking tea with a buki. Feels like a buki and I grew a little closer. Again, I don't have much, so I don't, I don't, what, what would she like? That's that's a key item. Shit. Um. Well, the, let's just go with the raw moon. Uh, Are you really gonna give this to Buki? Yeah! I'm so happy. Thanks, Hajime. Oh, good. She liked it. Hello. Hey, hello there. What do you want to play today? Play. Are we done with the club? Hey, hey! What are you talking about? Playing is a big part of music clubs. Do you know what's the most important thing about playing music in a band? The most important thing? Um... A uh, sense of unity? <laughs> ding, ding, ding! You got it right! <laughs> That's correct, it's all about that! The band members performing as a singular unit on stage? Why, you? That's the ideal live concert! That's where the greatest music is made! <laughs> In order to do that, it's perfectly, it's particularly important to take with everyone after school. <laughs> so, you're trained today, so roll your eyes to the back of your head. That's impossible. <laughs> also, you gotta learn how to break guitars and how to splatter pig guts. Those are the basics. What? Please, enough already. Huh? Oh, my, my, my. Are you gonna give up before you even do it? I have a reward for you, you know. Pointing! If you're able to withstand the train, I'll make your stage costume. You're the one who's gonna make it? <laughs> of course! Sewing's a minor necessity when you're in a band. It's that Usopp face again. I see, I never expected that from you. But now she mentions it, everything Ibuki is wearing looks really unique. Well, I don't know. It's basically your standard, um... It's mostly your standard, uh, schoolgirl outfit, just with the... the tattered leggings. I can totally tell she puts her heart into making her clothes, so not just another commercial product. I feel like I'm finally able to understand Ibuki a little better. After being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted by the time I turned to my room. Okay, this looks like a good time to call it, so, um... I guess we'll continue next time. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I'm playing a game.